we're having a baby in Asheville, North Carolina. And this is how this video started. Hi, my name is Elena Karigian and this is Katya. This channel is all about living in Nashville, what to do in Nashville, where to eat in Nashville, and apparently how to have a baby in Nashville. I hope a lot of people who are moving to Asheville from out of state, from out of town, and who found me through my videos. And I absolutely love, uh, excuse me, we absolutely love when we get a phone call. So if you need any kind of help, don't hesitate. Give me a call, my phone number, and my email will be right down here. Now I'm just a few days away from my due date and the next time I will see you will be on my way to the hospital. See you later! So we had to skip the part where I had to drive to the hospital because everything started happening very quickly. She could not wait to get out. <laughs> Um, seven centimeters at the arrival and the contractions just not happening within the last hour oh, my doctor is on the way yeah my door is on the way so this time i didn't have any door this time i decided to after i had my epidural everything happened even quicker and neither me or my husband could even think about recording any of that. I ended up having uh, to have a c-section so everything was kind of like a blur. So I was on the table within just a few minutes, everything was done very quickly and this baby was born at about 4 o'clock in the morning. This is gonna be our second night at the hospital. Far just like last time, which was four years ago. Um, it's been um, a great experience as far as the staff goes and the nurses. I, I mean, they really put meaning of nursing into what they do, you know? So I can't say enough good things about them here. So today is the third day and we're going home. I had an option to stay for one more night, but I don't know if I can stand this bed any longer. <laughs> One of the obvious reasons that we chose Mission Hospital is because of the location. It literally is located six minutes from our house, 10 with traffic. Um, and the second is, of course, because it's the most, I think, equipped hospital around here. And for me, I feel like delivery of the babies can be dangerous thing and also unpredictable and something that you cannot plan for like I mean and we'll live in proof to that because I ended up having a second stat or emergency c-section with a perfectly fine pregnancy and baby and me were fine up until the very last minute the rooms are pretty big we had a very similar room last time when I had my baby four years ago the first one um, my bed, baby, your own bathroom with a shower and, you know, everything you need. And pretty big sleeping sofa for a dad or whoever's staying with you. Baby's right next to me. There's also a chair. I actually never used it. Baby sleeping. I didn't know what our experience would be this time around because it's been four years since we had a baby and Mission Hospital was bought by a for-profit um, bigger hospital but um, I don't, I didn't see no noticeable changes at least nothing that affected me um, everything was still great the staff, all the nurses were awesome lactation consultant came literally that same day it was day zero is what they call my doctor, uh, who's Dr. Cobb with Grace OBGYN, came back to see me right after the surgery when I was here up here in the room, um, and the pediatrician too. Um, so, like I said, I go to Dr. Cobb and Grace. I know I heard that some practices in town share their on-call doctors. 
and, and Grace, um, they don't share. They have four doctors and you get to rotate through all of them during your pregnancy. That way, whoever's on call um, and gonna be delivering your baby will know you and you'll know them. So that's that was good. But I ended up having Dr. Cobb again, lucky me, because I love him as a doctor. Um, and um, he, he delivered my first baby. And um, we use ABC Pediatrics for our babies. Dr. Vo is my my babies, my children's pediatrician. She wasn't here, but the doctor on call was here uh, again at day zero. We feel like we got very good care from all the angles, from nursing staff, doctors, um, the lady who brings us lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. She somehow somehow figured out that we are Russians, even though I didn't tell her anything. Um, and she brought us hot tea for breakfast because if you know Russians, we like our hot tea. <laughs> so that was a sweet touch. And it's been great and I'm excited to go home. But uh, our experience again with a mission hospital under a new uh, ownership has been great. Um, a lot of people will have a lot of different opinions and will have bad experiences no matter where they are. I wouldn't go anywhere else because I know in case of, you know, unforeseen circumstances, something happens during the labor, they have everything here. One more thing about um, safety here. You as a patient have an option to say that no visitors at all and nobody will be able to come up to your room. I said, bring all the visitors, um, well, not all, but I allowed visitors to come up to my room. But whenever somebody comes in, they have to go through security check. They have to show the ID, I think, and they scan it and put the information in of the person. And everyone has either a little um, sticky thing on the on the clothes, on the chest, or uh, a little um, bracelet, just like I have. I have it as well. I have two, or just like that one. And the baby, baby has a bracelet. It fell off. Uh, well, she has another one with a with a code, but she, another bracelet that she has on her little leg, on her ankle, is is a de detector. If somebody happens to want to take her, and as soon as they try to approach the door, everything will be shut down. The whole building will be shut down, and nobody will be able to take you anywhere. So that's very comforting to know that security measures here are. I mean. On, they are on top of that even though we went to mission hospital to have both of our babies because a it's literally six minutes away from our house and b it's the most equipped it's got the NICU and I don't have to worry about something happening to the baby and having to transfer the baby somewhere else we're already there uh, but there's another hospital in town Park Ridge is located in Fletcher and there are great things about labor and delivery unit uh, in Park Ridge as well. Now, if you don't want to go to the hospital and you feel like you want to do a more natural way and but you don't want to do it at home either, the, we have Western North Carolina Birth Center that's located literally around the corner from Mission Hospital. and. I heard great things about that place as well. A lot of people have not one, but two or all the babies there and they've been very happy with that place. I hope you, we hope you found this information useful. And like I said, if you need any kind of help, don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions. Now that you watched the video about having a baby in Nashville, why don't you check out uh, some other videos about what it's like to live in Nashville check out those videos right here. We will see you next time. Okay, bye. Gotta go.